Hi, my name is Susanna and I'm here partnering with The Kitchen is My Playground. Today we're bringing you a recipe for easy pineapple kielbasa. Now I think it can't be denied that pineapple and ham or pork or any kind of sausage variety, even if you go with turkey sausage, um, is always a nice combination. And here especially, it's nice because you get those combined flavors, which are a lovely pair, and also an easy weeknight meal that you can make. So we're gonna jump right into this today, today with our butter first. I'm gonna set the stove to a medium heat and add some butter to the pan here. And while the butter is melting, we are just going to prepare our pineapple and our kibasa because those are the first items that will be going into the pan. So first up here, I just wanna start draining the pineapple. I find the easiest way to do this is just have the colander in a bowl because we do want to preserve some of this juice. So dump it right in. There we go. And make sure you fully drain it. And then I just set the colander on a plate to catch anything else that drains. And we easily have the juice reserved for later. Moving on to the kibasa, I'm just going to slice this up into little rounds. And probably by the time I finish that, our butter will be melted and the pan will be ready. All right, our kielbasa is sliced. I'm gonna go ahead and add this into the pan. The butter has melted. And you want to just leave this in the pan and let it get slightly browned. This will take a few minutes. Our um, kielbasa is heated through and lightly browned. We're just going to add in the next ingredients. So I've got some brown sugar here. And of course, the pineapple. Those are the stars of the recipe. And we're going to take just a little bit of that reserved pineapple juice and add it in as well. All right. I'm going to give all of this a good stir to combine. And at this point, we're at a really easy point in the recipe. All you have to do is step back, let it simmer for 15 minutes. All right. The kibasa and pineapples and the brown sugar have been simmering here on the stove for the last 15 minutes. I'm now going to take some more of the pineapple juice that we reserved and some cornstarch and whisk these together. Pour it directly over the kielbasa and pineapples. This is going to help thicken that glaze and almost make it syrupy. It's going to be really good. So same thing again. Give it a good stir and then we're just going to let this sit for two to three minutes and um, like I said, just thicken that glaze a little bit. Our glaze has thickened. I'm going to add a pinch of salt and pepper to this as well, just to give it a good seasoning. Enhance all those flavors a little bit more. Oops. Stir it up again, make sure you incorporate the salt and pepper, and then you can plate it up. So just so we can see how vibrant the yellow pineapple is with the sausage, I'm going to pour this on a plate it with some green onions, a little extra flavor, a little extra pop of color. Perfect. And look at this. Such an easy weeknight dinner to throw together. You can see the glaze on it. You can see how yellow the pineapples are. The sausage was browned just right. And we've got green onions on top. A little extra color there and flavor. This is especially good served over rice, white rice, or brown rice. Makes no difference. Make sure you check this recipe out on The Kitchen Is My Playground um, on their blog and get all of the ingredients, the measurements, any tips that they might have as well and try this for yourself for dinner tonight.